The door size is seven and a half inches by five and three quarter inches and is made with sheet metal. You can use any type of sheet metal to make the door. I usually try to find leftover roofing metal or use sheet metal to cut out the door for the burn barrel. If I don't have any or I can't find any used metal, I will buy a small piece of sheet metal from the local home improvement store. Today, I'm going to cut a piece off of an old metal ridge cap to make the door. Measure 5 and 3 quarter inches and draw a line. Use straight cut tin snips and cut along the line. If the sheet metal is not flat, use a three pound sledgehammer and flatten the metal out. After the metal is flat, trim the edges as straight as possible. Measure seven and a half inches and draw a line. Cut along the line. Trim the edges as straight as possible. Smooth the edges with a wire brush until they are no longer sharp. Use a quart size can to bend the sheet metal until you have a slight curve. Center the door over one of the lower holes in the barrel. Tape the door down to hold it in place. Use a punch and etch the outline of the door. Remove the tape. Etch a line one half inch in from the door outline. Use the door as a guide and connect the lines. Outline the door opening with blue tape.
Drill a quarter inch hole in each corner. Remove the metal shavings. Use a jigsaw and cut out the opening. Use a wire brush and smooth out the edges around the door cutout. Make sure there are no sharp edges. Remove the tape. Test fit the door. You will need a door latch, two steel doorknobs, and a two and a half inch steel hinge. The door latch and knob set shown is no longer available. You can use any type of door latch for the door. I use this style now and it works great. I included a link in the description if you would like more information or to purchase the item. Turn the door over and mark the center point on the left side of the door. Place the center hole of the hinge on the center point of the door. Mark the bottom and top hole of the hinge. Use a punch and indent each marked location. Drill a 3 16th inch hole through the door. Clean the holes with the grinding wheel and wire brush. Paint the front of the door with bright red heat resistant paint. After the paint dries, flip the door over. Lay out the door latch and steel knobs. Paint the hardware and the back of the door with heat resistant black paint. After the paint dries, turn the hardware parts over and paint the other side. Paint a second coat on the back of the door. 
After the paint dries, the hardware and door are ready for installation. Be sure to watch part 5. We will continue with the door installation. Thanks for watching.